Guess what? Here I am. Hey guys, how y'all been? I'm sorry. Uh, it's been a wild ride. And then we'll, we'll put it there. I hope this is enough lighting because my um lamp that's usually back there broke. But here I am. I've been trying to make this video for about two weeks now, but my phone was acting all goofy, so I had to get a new phone. Uh, so I thought I'd do a breakfast mukbang for you guys today. So I got my coffee. And it's not McDonald's coffee, it's my coffee, but <clears throat> it's good, 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 good. So how you guys been? I've been I've been in survival mode for a little bit, but it's okay. I'm good. Oh boy. <laughs> I haven't had bre McDonald's breakfast in a long time. I just, I got a couple, well, I got one hash brown with my meal and I got an extra hash brown. I'm so hungry. Some butters. Some more butters. Another butter. <laughs> I got the hot cake meal thing. Yeah, a little salt and pepper. I said two peppers. Oh well. Okay. Now if I can get it out of the bag, there we go. Oh boy. Lord, extra sausage. This isn't mine. <laughs> Okay. Well, I got an extra sausage. Hmm. Huh. Okay. I'll take it. So I got me the hot cakes and whoopsie daisy, the biscuit. Apparently two sausage patties. I guess maybe because I had to wait like 10 minutes for the food. I don't know. So what's been going on, y'all? Me not just working and the snow and oh god, this weather needs to make up my mind what it's doing. Okay, so they put the butters in the bag with the hot food, so they completely melted. Okay, let me put some of this here butters. We. <laughs> They're melty, melty, so it's kind of hard to spread it out. Put my fork. In. Uh, got it. There we go. You guys like McDonald's breakfast? I didn't know where to go. I was gonna do this or Wendy's. I don't know, but I opted for this one. Whoop, do Daisy. Since um, it's closer by, really, I had to take Cowboy to work, so it really wasn't, but it's what I wanted. I love these. Oh, there's the other pepper for my eggs. Put a little butter on here, too. So, what's been going on? Let's see, where should I start? Just, you know, trying to get stuff situated, trying to get life together. You know how it goes, you know? I hope I'm not mumbling, because I've been doing a lot of mumbling lately. So, if I'm mumbling, yell at me in the comments, please. There we go. I don't know. They gave me somebody else's food. They had to, because I didn't order extra sausage. Salt and pepper on my eggs. So, I've just been working basically. And oh, I have been doing this one thing. I'm gonna start doing these some videos. I've created a character, a country girl. Don't you know? 
and it's gonna be like a uh kind of what I do now except with a, some stories behind it you know I don't know but I'm kind of apprehensive to do it I don't know if I should or shouldn't or whatever but I might I might uh, I'm gonna try not to leave you guys for so long again where's my fork I like to make a little sausage and egg sandwich with my biscuit. Put half of it on there. And then I got the other half for my pancakes. Cut the devil in half. No, but you tell I'm not all the way awake yet, but I woke up starving. I didn't really eat much yesterday. I mean, I ate. But... I woke up hungry. Is that lighting okay? I hope so because the only lighting I got, I gotta go and get my other lamp out of the storage. Let's get into this food. I'm I'm just staring at it. I'm so hungry. Mm hmm. Their breakfast is not that bad. Good old Maxwell House. Uh, with some sugar and some butter pecan creamer. Mm, it's good. You see the food okay? See all that? I'm hungry. So if I stop talking for a few minutes, sorry. <laughs> That's good. I like their sausage. Their sausage is good. I think I eat your pancakes. I, just, I never used to eat it with syrup. But. Pretty good with syrup. Uh, what are you guys doing today? I'm off, so. I'm going to be doing some cleaning. I haven't cleaned in a while, so. I mean, I'm cleaned up, but I need to do some cleaning. I don't know what I'm doing after that. My son might come up today. So if that happens, that'd be cool. Might go out to dinner or something. Have some drinks. Guys, watch the games yesterday. What the heck? Neither one of my teams made it, but. Excuse me. I mean, I only have one tin, but I was rooting for the Lions. So I was like, let the underdog go. Right. And make it. <sighs> mm -mm -mm. I'm just starving. I am hungry. I'm usually not hungry. Like, as soon as I wake up, I had to get up at, got up at like quarter to seven, made coffee for him to take to work with him then I'm sitting there and my stomach's like blah, 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 blah. like really <laughs> okay his hours are shifting all over the place so you know I can make videos with him around but it's just he don't want he doesn't want to be in them so it's kind of awkward you know what I mean? <laughs> mm -mm -mm. That's good. Let's try out one of these Cassie Browns. Mm -hmm. 
I'm not talking about this. Here lately, they've been salting the heck out of the french fries, but they don't put not a lick of salt on these. Not a lick. Putting a little snicket. So, what is new with me? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. Mmm. I love hash brown. I love potatoes. So Valentine's Day is coming up in a couple weeks. How do you guys feel about that? I don't I don't like I've never liked Valentine's Day. I just think it's kind of a goofy holiday. Like, can you not show me that you love me the whole year? I don't need you to buy me a box of candy to prove that you love me. It's just spending money you don't really have on something that the person doesn't want or need. <laughs> So, it's like, don't, don't waste your money. That's how I feel about it anyway. But I used to tell my late husband that all the time. No, don't, don't buy me. I don't want anything. Yeah, right. If I don't buy it, you're going to get mad. No. And one year we had no money. I was like, I know you're going to be mad. I was like, I'm happy. <laughs> I don't need all that. I don't want it. You know what with these pancakes, though? They soak up the... Oh, that was a lot of pepper in that bite. They soak up the... Syrup. So... Boy, a couple little spiders up there. So, well, I was going to tell you guys something else. I don't remember what it was now. There goes my nose. Mm. That was a big bite. Sorry about that. Good lower. I totally forgot what I was going to tell you guys. I'll tell you guys about the Get to my start doing. I might do one today and put it post it as a uh, short. This is something else that I wanted to do, you know. Well, I thought, why not? Oh, I didn't know where it was. Go story time. <laughs> I'll tell you what, these things follow me wherever I go, I'm telling you. This is a new one. So, you know, I had to leave the the trailer because the landlords were cuckoo, so we're in this motel right now, which is fine. It's fine. So, nothing happens big like it did in the apartment I had nothing like that but in nothing when I'm, I changed man's name to cowboy <laughs> and nothing when he's around but and it's really not 
a lot of that. The one kind of creeped me out. It's a little too close to me. But, excuse me. I have the hiccup. But what happened was, you hear like banging noises. Um, basically banging noises. And it's at a time when the person that lives this way to me isn't home and the, there's nobody in that room on that side. So, what's the banging? Now, one, one morning I was sitting on the side of the bed and there was like a thump on my end table or bedside table, whatever you call it. It was a thump. <laughs> it shook my coffee cup. I said, no, 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 we're not doing that. No, we're not. And right outside, I have my coolers. And yesterday morning, it sounded like somebody was moving the cooler. It's heavy. It's got um, drinks in it. Adult beverages, if you will. And just whatever we keep them out there. Because we just got a mini fridge right now. So I get up and go look. Mm -mm. There's nobody outside. There's nobody around. So I come back in. And that sounds like something opened it. And slammed it shut. Still nobody outside, nobody around. It's not windy. It's not like the wind's opening it or anything like that. So, but it's just little weird things like that. Doesn't scare me though. But I'll tell you what, this weather is fickle and it's getting on my nerves. And so is my sinus. Ever since I had COVID last, not this past summer, the summer, was it this past? No, summer before. 2022. Every time I eat, my nose starts running, getting like, like that. <laughs> Never happened before I had COVID. Mm -hmm. Feeling better now. I was... <clears throat> A little lightheaded. You guys doing anything interesting this week? I'm just working. We were supposed to go, um, do some food delivery, you know, DoorDash and that stuff, last night, but we went to watch the the Chiefs game, Ravens game, at this restaurant and bar, and we just stayed there for half of the other, the next game, we needed that though, just a break, yesterday was the first day I didn't do anything. You know, it was winter that cut back its hours, so. We've been doing food delivery together. I'm the driver, he's the runner, so. I mean, he could do it by himself, but, and he does. But it's just easier. Like, I can double park the car and sit in it.
and he's with me. If he's by himself, he's got to actually park the car. I've been doing that, so that's one reason why I haven't been able to put up a video. Because when I'm not doing that, I'm sleeping. <laughs> Tell me what you think. You know, I did a couple of car videos. I might go back to doing some of those for a while. Until things calm down around here. Tell me what you think about that. Because I don't mind doing that. If you guys like them, I'll do them. I mean, I do eat lunch in my car every night. So that wouldn't be a far stretch. Okay. Hmm. That was good. I almost made one the other night, but I was like, nobody wants to see me eat a sandwich. <laughs> My latest obsession. You guys ever had a Cheetos popcorn? The jalapeno cheddar, um... Popcorn. Oh. That stuff is so good. Oh, we got, we finally went into that candy store I was telling you guys about. Um, a while back, the candy store. Finally went in there. I, I can't show them, I don't think. I think YouTube will flag me. Remember when we were kids, you old heads, you don't know what I'm talking about. And kids, and you get the candy, you know. <laughs> they had them, and he bought two packs of me. Had it in his little coat pocket right here and pulled, pulled it out like the olden days. And I got my, uh. What did I do with his? I just. Had it. I'll tell you what, I'll lose my brains if they weren't inside my head securely. Hold on. I just had it. You couldn't. <sighs> See what I mean? I gotta clean. He sits everything on the table or the floor. Ugh. I saw, here it is. This is his. This is root beer. It's a uh, Gilliam. Say that. It's a Gilliam um, candy stick. It's root beer flavored, this one. I got a watermelon, cherry, and a strawberry one. He got all, all um, root beer. But here's the thing with these. Jolly Rancher used to come like this back when I was a kid, but that's not my story. I was in fourth grade. I think fourth grade, and we took a field trip to Lancaster, Amish country, to learn about the Amish. And that's where I really developed my love for the Amish. Like, I, I love that. I wish I had their dedication to life. I would be Amish, but I don't have that kind of dedication but anyway um you know we went to see the silver or the blacksmith and the this and the that went to the schoolhouse then we went to the gift shop no like it's not really gifts they call it a gift shop but it's really like their little store and it had little it had some food things in it and some of course Send a fourth grader into a store that has candy. That's what they're going to get. But I got these. And it's the same name. And they've been out since 1927. This is made by the Amish. And um, I got these. And I'm looking at the ingredients on it. Of course, sugar is the first ingredient. But it doesn't have... Well, it has red 40. Color added, but... Other than the dyes, what well, root beer flavors are 
fakeness, but it tastes like a pure, like you can, it, it kind of tastes like a homemade piece of hard candy. This is the, I got these, and you know those dots, the little candy that comes on the paper and you end up eating part of the paper too. I saw them, it was like nostalgia because it was like all these candies and things that you, that we ate coming up in the 80s and 90s, you know what I mean? So I was like, well, oh, I could get some of this and some of that and some of this and some of that and do a, uh, a candy, a candy mukbang. The only thing with that is I will be just tasting things. And that, that seems kind of wasteful because I can't sit here and eat like eight different kinds of candy. But I may start incorporating like a piece of old kind of old timey candy into the thing or just showing it to you. You know, but I got those, and you know, there's chocolates. I wonder if I still have one. Hold on, hold on. Let me see. I think I do. I should have because I know I didn't eat them all. But did he eat them? Okay, he ate them. Alright, never mind. Sorry. He ate the last couple of them. I have to get more. It's like a cube. It's called an ice cube. It's chocolate. And when you eat it, it, it tastes cold. Like an ice cube. Which is weird. But, and I got some of those. They just don't taste as good as they did when I was a kid. They kind of, now kind of have a gritty taste to them a, a little bit so good but nostalgia I was like oh look at this and then there was these jawbreakers I did not get one it was this big I'm not even exaggerating it was the size of a softball I said honey do you want one of these jawbreakers they like incoming incoming let's go let's go I said what do you mean incoming oh about 10 teenagers walk through the door. He goes, let's get out of here. <laughs> I go, well, they're not going to sit there and eat the candy. He goes, no, but they're going to act a fool because there is candy. I went, okay. I said, I'm acting a fool. That was cool. So we did that. We found a new little restaurant bar thing. We've been going there. They have really good chicken wings. The sauces for them are okay. The wings are, are huge and they're cooked right. But that's about it. My hands are hurting today. The finger. I gotta put my spray on it. I have to make some more spray. I'm almost out of it. Now I'm full. I'm gonna try to post at least once a week, guys. I, I wanna post like three times a week, but I don't know. But I might try to sneak in some little shorts, you know. But I've missed you guys. I really have. I really have missed you guys. And tell me if the lighting is terrible, terrible. I'm hoping the lighting... It looks okay from the way I'm looking at it, but... Oh, I might lay down and take me a nap. We went to bed about 1 o'clock. He's like, oh, it's early. I said, what you mean it's early? He says, it's only 12.30. I said, that's why I'm sitting here like this. I was. I was nodding off. Well, you know, when I got off work yesterday, I came home. I only slept for like four hours because on Sunday I try not to sleep all day like I do when I have to go to work so that I can sleep at night. You know, the life of the overnight crew. 
like I used to literally sleep my first day off. That's why my days off have to be back to back. I can't do it. They like to split your days. But I said I can't come back and my days are split. I can't do that. Mm -mm. Cause your first day you basically sleep. Then your second day you got stuff to do. But I try not to I used to sleep until like seven or eight o'clock at night on my day off. And then I'd be up all night and sleep all day. Not be seeing anybody. So on Sunday, I get home, go to, I lay down, sleep for four or five hours, get up, you know, and uh, get my day going. Mm, excuse me. Oh, I'm, I'm probably going to lay down for a little bit. My son's going to call me if he comes up. If he comes up, I might do another video today. Probably won't post it today, but I'll make it today. It's been a while since he's been in a video. No, well, because we live in different states now, so. It makes it hard. Mm-mm-mm. That's how my brain works. I'm thinking ahead to March. Hoping I have a real apartment by then. So I can make my corned beef cabbage. I want corned beef and cabbage. My grandma used to make the oh man, she made a big pot of that corned beef cabbage and potatoes. And the ham. Potatoes and green beans. Oh, God. Now that was good. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. You guys can see how dirty this table is. I apologize. Jesus. It's a rough week and he only does so much. I mean, he works a lot, too. He has been cleaning about yourself a little bit. But. I think I'm going to get off here. Take me a nap. See how many days this takes to upload. See if this one's any better. That was the other problem I was having. When I would make a video, it would take me two days to upload it because it wouldn't upload. YouTube's so slow, and the connection here is not the greatest. Even for Wi-Fi, it's not that good. Oh, of course that's an empty bottle of water. Oh. Here we go. I had my coffee. I had some food. I'm gonna relax for a little bit. All right, you guys. Y'all know what to do, right? Hit the like button, comment, subscribe, hit your bell notification. Tell your neighbors, your friends, your strangers. And I will be back later this week. I hope. Bye.